What's up everybody? Hatem is here and I'll show you today how to get your website approved on Google AdSense in less than 24 hours. Before we begin, if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to smash the like button down below. And without being said, let's get started. For fresh content, subscribe, press the bell icon to never miss an update from geekblogging.com. This video is a follow into a tutorial I made about two years ago explaining a great alternative of Google AdSense, which by I earned a couple of hundred dollars. But I got fans still asking me on the comments to do a video about Google AdSense. However, I still invite you to check out that useful tutorial. You can find the link on the description box or click on the card that will pop up right now. For now, let's begin. First thing that most publishers don't pay attention to is to add privacy policy page to their website. Most of you guys will ask me, what should I write in this page? The answer is very, sim the answer is very simple. Just go to this link that you will find on the, on the description box and answer a few simple questions about your business and your website privacy policy. It took generally less than 15 minutes. Also, don't forget to add an about and contact page. Second thing in the, uh, is the content. Everybody agreed that the content is the king. It is the first, first thing reviewed by AdSense. When we talk about content, it should be original and not copied, copied from other websites in addition to being adherent with AdSense policies. You can't uh, check it out in this link. After doing this, you should apply for AdSense only after having at least 20 pages on your website. So, if you have less content, you will be declined for sure. Third thing that uh, is about the domain name. Google doesn't care about free domain such as blogspot.com or .tk or .ml and treat them with less priority because there is thousands of publishers that apply everybody for uh, sorry that apply every day for AdSense program and most of them aren't professional or respecting rules. So when you have a paid domain, the employers will trust your website more and more and you're eligible to be accepted. For this, I invite you to book a domain from GoDaddy for only $1. So just type in Google $1 coupon GoDaddy. Fourth thing is to contact Google with a custom email, which means that your domain email should be the same as your website. If you don't know how to get the professional email for free, I invite you to check out my video that I will put a link on the description box on how to get a custom email for free. It is unlike Google Business that will charge you every single month. Fifth thing that you should pay attention to is organic traffic. It means that your website is visited from various websites like YouTube, Google, Facebook and Twitter. But if you're buying traffic uh, from other websites, you will not be accepted on Google AdSense. And if you're re using it on your account, it will be disabled sooner. So, if you want to get real traffic, you can search uh, simply for free AdWords or Facebook coupon on Google. These golden tips are very useful and work immediately. So, for a quick recap, you should pre present your request of monetization with a paid domain plus professional email in addition to a privacy policy page about and a contact page also make sure to have at least 20 blog posts on your blog and finally get a traffic from trusted sources as facebook or adwords 
This is it guys, if you want me to continue providing you with the best tutorials in our weekly basics, show me your love and support by clicking the like button, subscribe with notifications on and share it with your friends. If you have any questions or want to request a video, just let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to click the link down below to see a written tutorial and all links used. Also, don't forget to check my website www.geekblogging.com and thanks for watching.